Archer. Buongiorno amici, ciao a tutti. Sono BC, and welcome to my world. I am back in the nether, and I'm actually en route out to... Well, yeah, why not? Uh, so I'm en route out to our, uh, our area where we've been working on the uh, water temple monument, the, uh, the guardian farm. And uh, I just thought uh, we'd head out there real quick, and I, I'm pretty much going to call it done. And uh, I want to kind of show you what I've done out there and uh, the progress that's been made. I think it's looking really sweet. Um, and I think, except for a couple other things that really don't matter with functionality, I think it's good to go. So let me show you this area here. So we've been following this path of torches for the longest time. But right over here, I went ahead and grabbed a whole bunch of dynamite and blew this ginormous cavern that descends down into where our portal is going to be. And this will eventually be where the uh, tunnel is going to go that uh, leads us to our uh, guardian farm off of the nether hub. So, so yeah, everything is... Whoa, not in. You're in my head. <laughs> so... All right, right off the bat, you can see I kind of made a pathway here through the water. And, uh, oh, I'm moving so slow. I no longer have depth strider boots because I tried to take a swim in some lava. And uh, I didn't actually have my armor on, but uh, I lost uh, my pick and my pickaxe and my boots. And uh, I really just had a bunch of other junk with me, so it's all good. But I created this uh, pathway that comes in here, and immediately you could see we have symmetry going on both sides, and there's stairwells that are leading up to the top of the thing. And while we're here, let me go ahead and flip the switch on so that it can be vacuum vacuuming up all the goods while we're here. So let me show you what's going on on top. So I made these little uh, these little dome thing here. So that don't bleh, 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 bleh. these little uh, canopies, I guess you could say, over the entrances, and they're uh, kind of reminiscent of what's going on up here on the very tip top. And then I placed lighting all the way around, and I also kind of changed up some of the stone pattern Woo, design. So you can see that. If you look straight ahead, you can see that the slime collection tunnel is finished. And uh, nothing too special right now. It's just coming up and uh, using the same kind of uh, water tunnel system with uh, ender chests. And uh, it just leads into uh, uh, a collection system. It's not sorted or anything because all we're getting is slime balls. So no big deal. I want to show you what's going on with that. And we'll head down there in just a minute. And then out the back here, there's another one of these canopies that leads to our top portion. Uh, I got this dirt here just so the the guardians don't jump out, and I'm I might do something later. But again, I'm I'm kind of ready to move on, so not too worried about that. So let's head back into our area here, and uh, and so yeah, things are going good over here. Let's see what I got for slime balls. I have quite a lot of slime balls, and really it's just because I've been doing work here. And yep, look at that. Awesome. What timing. Holy cow, that's awesome. So let me show you what's going on. You can fall, thank you. And uh, I'll show you what's going on here. And I tried a couple different systems. Oh, so slow. Man, you get so spoiled off enchantments. So I tried a couple different systems. The first system I had had iron golems down in the bottom. And if you've ever seen, I think it was Doc M 77 who made a farm originally with iron golems in the bottom. And they just thrash the slimes around until basically they're destroyed and uh, and then the little slime balls get uh, sucked into our system. The problem was is that the big slimes were actually trashing my iron golems and every once and again uh, you'd get uh, uh, a bunch of iron and roses or poppies now coming down through the pipeline. So that was not working. Um, Slimes also, their AI has changed to where they swim. So you can't just uh, cart them along and uh, expect them just to to drown uh, because they'll just float on top of the surface of the water. So I kind of used 
they're drowning against them or they're swimming against them let's see if i can oh i guess i can't shift click okay so i'm gonna stand right here at the doorway so look they're gonna fall down in this area and then they're gonna get swept along and they're gonna go into this chamber here now in this chamber here they're instantly gonna want to swim and you can see this guy swimming up i don't know if you i'll, I'll change the brightness so you can see but as they try to swim, they're going to get trapped, and now they can't get back out. And even if they get here, they can't get back out because of this half slap. So basically, they're going to trap themselves in there because of their desire to swim. Once they die, they'll get sucked up into a hopper chain, and then they'll... Uh, oh, this takes skills, which... Oh, oh snap! Mm -mm -mm. Uh, yeah, so they'll get... Uh, they'll drown, they'll die they'll get sucked up into our system and then we've got the ooey gooey oh so awesome slime balls to deal with so so that is it for our water monument and it has been really 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 producing some blocks um, I've used quite a few blocks in uh, the continued build of this area but let me just show you like so while I've been sitting here building the slime area and you know whatever else that needed to be taken care of uh, let me show you this. Oh, so slow. Okay, I'll stop whining about it. Sprinting. Alright, so anyway, let me show you the loot that we've been collecting. And uh, we might have to open up a shop or something because uh, it is very, very productive. But, oh, I also need to flip this off since we're about to leave. But look at this. Full. 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 Halfway. Almost full. Fish. For days. So, yeah. It is really, really awesome. So, oh, by the way, check this out. I don't know if you've ever known this. But look at the ground. Watch. See how it's purple? Now just keep watching. Keep watching. It's changing. Now it's a bluish color. Now I'm not doing this. OMG Chad, if you don't know who OMG Chad is, he pointed this out in one of his uh, videos when he was in the uh, Water Monument. But I never knew that these blocks were animated. I knew that the sea lanterns were animated, and you could see right there the animation. But look, now it's going back to purple. And if you keep waiting, watch, it's going to start getting towards green. Ooh, spooky, spooky. See, now the block is green. And it'll kind of have this tan color in it, too. So, yeah, super cool. I never knew that the uh, prismarine block changed color. It's really amazing. It's pretty sweet. So, yeah, all right, I'm going to head back to uh, Lily Cat's house. Because we need to do some enchanting to uh, make up for this gear that we lost. And uh, I will see you when I get there. Ciao, ciao. All right, so we're down here in uh, Lily Cat's uh, little abode, humble abode at, uh, at spawn. And uh, I've got a, a fresh pick and a fresh axe that uh, I got from our, buddy, the our buddies, the villagers. And I've got a couple books here with me. And I found this axe laying around, and it's almost a logs and hogs but not quite. It's pretty well wasted. 39 durability left, and it's only efficiency 4 and sharpness 4. And we're going to use her little enchanting room down here. Let me grab some of this lazuli. And I think we got something good here. We've got Unbreaking 3. Yeah, I want to try and combine... Fortune 3 efficient. Okay, all right. All right. Um, let's see here. If I take... Let's fix this... Uh, fix this guy here. Okay, got a fresh axe. Boop. And now with our axe, we've got an efficiency book. Oh, snap. We're going to be able to do everything we want. Uh, let's put the efficiency book on here which is going to give us efficiency 5 
And then our, sh oh, it's sharpness and unbreaking. I feel like I'd be wasting it. Hmm. Okay, well, let's just do this for now. Let's do our efficiency on the pickaxe. We got efficiency five. And we got six levels left, and that's not going to be, yeah, that's not going to be enough to do anything. Can we even rename this thing yet? Nope. All right, so right now we've just got uh, a, we've got an axe that we need to get some sharpness on, but we can put the sword away because I don't like using swords, so we're good. We're we're getting there. And I also had to make a new bow. I I don't know what happened to my bow, but I just lost it somewhere. So anyway, now we're kind of reset on that. And I, also, I'm not wearing armor right now, uh, and I'm going to continue not to wear armor just. Because, as crazy as it sounds, I'm really kind of looking for a little bit more challenge. And, uh, you know, most of the time that I work it in this game, I'm, I'm working in areas that are pretty well lit up already. And uh, I really don't have to worry too much about mobs. But when I do, I want it to be something to actually worry about. So, so check it out. Whenever I'm in, in spawn, I usually walk around and you can see here, I mow down all the sh uh, reeds, the sugar cane. I heard you. He's probably in our lighting system. So I mow down all the sugar cane, and, uh, and I do it all over spawn, and I end up with this huge collection. And, uh, and I've also got this pumpkin, because this thing is never, it never stops. It's always working. So my thoughts were, we should make some pumpkin pie. But one of the ingredients that you need in pumpkin pie is eggs. And there are not a lot of eggs in this world, and really there's no place to get eggs in this world. Um, despite the fact that we have a little egg thing here, this machine does not give us eggs. It cooks chicken, and all we get is cooked chicken and feathers. And I happen to have a bunch of eggs right here, but those are just kind of left over from when I was first getting this machine going. So what I want to do is I want to build an extension to this machine where you can flip a switch and you can either have the choice to get cooked chicken and feathers or you can get uh, raw eggs you can get eggs and raw chicken and feathers because raw chicken you can actually trade with villagers so I've got most of my supplies right here and uh, in order to do this Let's see here. Let's pick out pick out some of the goods that we need. Here, let's start by going down here. All right, this is the uh, the item elevator that gives us our cooked chicken, and down here is where the chicken are. And, and if you don't know, if you're not familiar with this machine, you look it up. But basically, the eggs are thrown. There's baby chickens, and the minute they grow up, their heads go into the lava, they die, they get cooked, and their guts get sucked up, and, uh, and they're delicious lunch. So, in order to stop the process, right, we need to be able to intervene uh, in the collection of, um, before this thing spits out the... Uh, the eggs, right? We gotta, we gotta intervene somewhere, and and uh, in order to do that, I want to build a, a series of hoppers. <clears throat> excuse me. Underneath the uh, the collection point right here. Okay, and we're gonna put a switch on it so that the, when the hopper is locked, it'll spit the eggs like normal. But when the hopper's unlocked, it'll suck them down and take them to our new system. Okay, and then that system is gonna go off in this direction here oh dying all right it's going to go off in this direction here and i'm going to have to spend some time or i'll spend some time in a sec just uh building a room here for our item elevator and then it's going to go up into a new little uh, uh chicken pin that we're going to build up top so let me uh, go grab the rest of my supplies that i'm going to need because i need to grab some hoppers and I'll also dig out this chamber here and get the uh, item elevator squared away. And I'll be right back with you, Amichi. Cha-cha for now. All right, and we are back. And uh, got the hole dug out all the way up to the top here. 
this is pretty much where we're going to work and uh, got everything that I need. And we're going to start by putting down our droppers because our dropper elevator, we need to designate where that's going to be. And we're going to put it right, oh, I'm one block off, right here. All right. So we need to run our line to our dropper elevator like this. And it needs to be right below where our where our dispenser is okay so that's where it needs to be right there now again like I said we need to have a kind of a shut off switch and this I took these out because I thought oh hello so that 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 okay so all right, so our chain is going to be going straight down like this, but we want to have that shutoff switch. So I'm going to put this block here, and on top of that block, I'm going to put a repeater like this. And then I'm going to, oh, you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, shoot. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's fine. It'll be fine. All right. So just like that. And then let me get rid of this wood here. And this line is going to go this way. Just like that. And let me go ahead and throw down some redstone dust. Like this here. over to our repeater like that and for now I'm gonna go ahead and put a torch on it because what is the deal um, just because I don't want uh, I want to go ahead and lock it out so what's happening now is I'm locking out the hopper that's right below this dispenser so because it's locked nothing can go into it and so items should just keep passing through that dispenser and get shot out like they normally do and the moment we hear an egg get shot we'll know it's working okay I heard a click oh, alright see nothing's coming into it alright so that's good that means that is working alright let's see so we could put this material back in place like that here okay now our item hoppers is, are going to go into here, and here is where we need to go ahead and build an elevator. So I will do that right quick. And I'm going to finish it off with a dispenser like that. All right, now we just got to build the actual um, elevator for the clicking. And we're going to do that by putting a torch and, and then a block and then a torch and a block and a torch and a block. And I will repair this wall here after the fact. I think I can get away with powder on top. That should be good to go. Should be good to go. All right. So, got that in place. Let me put this dirt back. Yep, like that. Perfect. And then right here is where we want to put our switch, our on and off switch, in order to change the different modes of this machine. And so to do that, we're going to put a, uh, like a, um, uh, a, a drop drop line I guess I don't know what the what you would really call it but basically uh, a power line that's going downward so let me fill that in so we'll do that by using oops let me get my stuff on the bar torch ooh ouch that's not good um, I can eliminate that problem by getting rid of this block here and eventually could put a hay bale or something on top. All right, 
So, got that there. That's going to drop down to a signal here, which should have dust on it, like that. Torch out of that. That's going to drop down to our next line here. Torch on that. And that's going to drop down to the next one, and so on and so forth. Too easy. These are all things we've seen before. Just like that. And then if we did everything right, we should be coming into that other room or not. Uh, oops, I'm too low. Okay, let me fill that in. Let's see, maybe right here there it is there's that line that we had perfect so what I could do is from right here I could just take this off of there go ahead and fill this wall in and uh, for now I'll put some cobblestone I'll come back and make it pretty later put a torch right there and unfortunately it's inverted right now so What I could do is, in order to make this signal right, it can uh, it can actually come down on that dust there. We could put block this like that. All right. So now it's exactly how it it really needs to be. Okay, like this, and put the green back. Just like that. All right. Perfect. So the line's hot. It's locked. Everything's still working inside here. Should be no big deal. Okay. Now I did have some ladders. Yep. Yes, sir. Get myself back out. Can I put... Oh, I can. Nice. All right. All right. Now put this block back in place like that. None the wiser. All right, but if I switch this now, it should. Okay, it deactivated that line. Now the next time a leg, an egg, a leg, next time an egg gets laid, it should pop out of here, and we'll know where it's working. So, now what I want to do here is this is where it's going to launch, and we're going to have like a little pen of of chickens just kind of free range. Okay, weird. Let me make sure this, this doggone uh, elevator's working. Drop that down there. It clicked. Let's try some cobblestone. See if I can get that stuff up here. It's probably this powder. Oh, there it goes. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to build a little chicken coop on top of this, just like... Uh, just kind of similar to this, but not exactly the same. And then uh, I'll get, we'll get back together and I'll show you the final concept. Ciao ragazzi! I am just leaving Lily Cat's house. And uh, I was doing so, just trying to kill some time. And uh, also to make all these instant damage potions. But, let me show you what's been going on. Oh yeah, tons of chickens. So this is our other little coop. It's a little different than my original design that I'd worked out uh, in a creative build. Um, and the only reason why is because I had these windows lower, but all the little baby chickens were crawling out of them and getting all over the place. So I quickly changed it, but it's still slightly different than the other one. And you can see what's going on is, uh, so our dispenser is right here in the corner. And it's shooting the chickens up in the air. And, uh, you know, when one hatches, it grows up. And... Uh, and then the entire floor area is all uh, a bunch of hoppers. And those are all being consolidated into this chest. So you can see our adults are laying tons and tons of eggs, which is great. And let me go ahead and put all of this good stuff. Can I do that? Oh, yeah. So our adults are, are laying tons and tons of eggs for us. And that's terrific. And uh, right now I've got it switched back into uh, feed me mode, so it's making uh, cooked chicken for us, coming up in this chest. But 
So let's say I want to trade with a villager, and I need some raw chicken, and uh, I don't know if there's a villager trade with feathers or not, but uh, but also we need these eggs, right? So I'm going to toss this uh, splash potion of harming two. Instant death. All right, and we're getting lots of XP at the same time, which is always fantastic. So that thinned out our population quite a bit, and I'll just leave these guys in here to, to lay some eggs. But all their chicken, all their raw chickens coming down into here. We got our feathers collecting up, and we got all of our eggs too. So I would say this all equals up to a very job well done. And uh, it's definitely going to serve a purpose in the future because... Uh, when 1.8 came out and they've changed the way the villagers breed and everything, we never took the time to build a new uh, villager area here in Plutonium. So eventually I would like to do that. Um, and it's it's on our list. It's on our list of things to do. So, But now that we got eggs, we can kind of finally go back and do what we talked about doing earlier. And that was to make some pumpkin pie. We have got a ton of... Let's see, craft and some sugar, mix it up right, all right, let's get some pumpkins, let's put that away for now, plenty of pumpkins, so one stack of pumpkins, one stack of sugar, 16, oh yeah, make it a pumpkin pie, so that's really going to do it for uh, for today, ragazzi. I think uh, we got quite a bit done. I'm really excited how the uh, the Guardian Farm turned out. I think that turned out really well. Um, you know, like I said, I'm kind of turning up the difficulty for myself by uh, trying not to wear armor. I heard some clinkety clank. He's probably down in the in the lighting system. There, there's a guys occasionally down there. We got to fix that sometime too. But anyway. And uh, we developed a new way to uh, not only get a villager trade item, but also to start making, uh, taking more advantage of our, uh, our pumpkin, uh, our pumpkin Mario, <laughs> uh, no, Fabio, Fabio, Mario, yeah, it's a pumpkin. So we can now make pumpkin pie, which is delicious. Unfortunately, I'm not hungry enough to show you how delicious it is, but. That's going to be all the time we got for now, ragazzi. I hope you've had a great week, and I hope you have a great week to come. I'll see you again next time. Ciao, ciao for now, amici. Bye-bye.